Hi stamping friends, Melissa Kerman here with Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I sell all the products that I share in my videos. Today I have a really fun project for you that's kind of a two for one, if you will. I'm not going to be using any stamps. Um, I'm only going to be using these two sets of dies. Uh, and this set of dies, the Poppy Moments dies, does coordinate with the Peaceful Moments stamp set. So just so you know, you can get these two as a bundle and it saves you 10%, but today we'll only be using the Poppy Moments dies. So I'm specifically using the, these two pieces um, that are leaves or foliage, and we'll be using this large frame of the stitched rectangle dies. So we're gonna get started by doing our die cutting. The first piece I'm gonna do is my frame, and I'm actually gonna do two of them so this is the piece we're going to be using. So next I'm going to be die cutting my foliage and I'm going to have to run this through twice. I am using this larger foliage shape for my white panel and the smaller one on the gray panel. You do need to be careful when poking this out because even though it looks like a big shape, it's actually a small little delicate shape when you take it out of the dots. Really sweet element there. This one isn't quite as delicate, but still has some delicate parts. Now I only needed one done with this die, but I need two of the other size shape. So I also need a black one of this small foliage. Now I'm all done with my big shot. So now I've got my card base, my frame. So now I've got three more panels cut out and they are the same size as these three panels as well. And I'm just gonna set these aside for now because I'm not gonna use them right at the moment. So I'm gonna start by attaching these three panels to the front of the card and I am gonna center them on the basic black card base. So I'm starting by getting my spacing just right and then I'm going to attach them one at a time to the front of the card. And then I'm going to use a little bit of my multi-purpose liquid glue on the back side of each of my pieces of foliage. I'm going to use my pick, take your pick tool to help me pick this up and get it into position. And I'm just centering it side to side on my black panel. And the same with these delicate elements of foliage as well. Now the smaller foliage does need to be justified ever so slightly towards the center so that when I put my frame on I'm not cutting it off and that'll work. Now here I can use Stampin' Dimensionals or if I want I can use some of my foam adhesive strips for in behind the frame. The foam adhesive strips are just a tiny bit taller than the dimensionals, but they also give me the benefit of being nice and narrow. And they'll hold up that frame just beautifully. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and attach my frame to the front of this card. Super simple, easy card. Now I'm gonna use these other pieces, I wanna show you how I'm doing that, to get my two for one. So I've got another card base, and I've got three more panels, and I'm gonna place them down on my card in exactly the same way as I did on the first one. So the black in the middle, the basic gray on the left, and the smoky slate on the right. And again, I'm gonna center them. I'm gonna use these three pieces that are the negative space from my first card to place over these, and I'm gonna use my liquid glue again and this one's even easier to do. You just wanna make sure you don't have too much adhesive on there so that it doesn't ooze out. So I'm just gonna line these up, the black one on the left, the white and one in the middle, and the basic gray one on the right. You can see that's lifting up a little bit, so I'm gonna put a tiny bit of adhesive back there, make sure that gets held down. And then again, I'm gonna take my frame Put some foam adhesive strips on the back 
and then go ahead and attach it. Now because it's black in behind, I could have potentially not put that black piece in the middle, but it acts as a spacer, and it also means that the uh, cardstock in behind will be at the same height as it is for the other two. And now I'm just going to put my foam adhesive strips on. Now you may be able to see I got a little bit of adhesive on the outside, but I'm going to use my adhesive eraser to just remove that little bit of adhesive showing up on the front. And I'll go ahead and attach this, and I'm all done with my two cards. So for both of these cards, you'll need a black card base, a white piece to die cut your frame, and then these three panels for each of them. And then you'll need an additional three panels, um, and these will provide both the positive and the negative space for each of these cards. So once die cut, these will look like, I'm using the negative and positive of the die cut pieces, and there you go. Pretty cool, huh? Check out all the details for my free card kit program on my website under the Tutorials and Classes tab. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for spending some time with me today, and happy crafting!